Yes, I have. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. viewers, the long-awaited season is here. As we all know, the 25th of February 2023 is the day for election and we Nigerians will be coming out to cast our votes. So we're on the streets to know people's um, opinion about the election and know their preferred candidates. Alright guys, come with me as we hit the streets. Ma, why do you think youths of nowadays are coming out to vote? Youth are nowadays, all of them, they used to go to school. After schooling, not, no job. That is why they have to, they come out to vote because so that person who go help them, do uh, give them work, put them in better position, so that they, they will go rest. After going to school, nothing for them. That is why they want, they come out to vote. So they want person who go help them. Okay. Ma, the, what, what do you expect um, from Nigeria in the next two years? Expecting Nigeria in the next two years for progress. I said the condition of the country now, things are not going fine the way it's supposed to be. See, people are suffering, this cashless, there's no money. But what we are praying God, God should bring somebody that will handle this country to a firm so that everybody will enjoy what this country has already sold. This country is a, great, it's, it's a very great country. Nigeria in Africa is number one. We have all resources which will make our youths and others move forward. But due to the things we are seeing, the, the, things, the leaders, bad leaders, things is not going fine. We are not praying that God should bring a good leader that will take off this country to where it's supposed to be. Do you have a PVC, man? Yes, I do. So you're going to come out on Saturday to vote? Of course, I'm coming out to vote. So what's your, what's your expectation for your preferred candidates? Well, actually, I'm actually expecting success for my preferred candidates. It's my choice. So I've made the choice. And I, I think that my preferred candidates can rule the country in the best of the cities of Nigeria. So I'm hoping for the best for my preferred candidates. OK. So what's your expectation for this upcoming election? I never know. I never know, but if I reach uh, that day where they vote, I reach there. Uh, I not get what I go vote for. Oh, now God go direct me where I go vote for that day. Yes, I have PBC. So you're coming at that day to vote on Saturday, rather. Uh, I will come out and vote now because looking at the country now, the things, things they difficult now. I will need a fresh hand, so I will come and vote for my conscience. So that is that. So what, um, what do you want your preferred candidates to do? Uh, what I want my preferred candidates to look into is the area of corruption. Especially this big salary that politicians is taking. Senators, rep, House of Assembly, governor, and they let them slash those salary and use it for the masses. Because it's the same market that senator's wife is going the masses' wife, all those poor people's wife is going to. When they are receiving million, million, why we are here suffering? If now that we want to change things, I wouldn't have gone and vote. But I will go and select them from party to party. I'm not going to vote one party parallel. It's preferred people. I will pick them from Labour Party, PDP, and APC, across like that. That is what I'm going to do. What um, are your expectations for your, um, your preferred candidates? The candidate I will vote for is the one God direct me to vote for because this one we are in now, we are suffering. We don't know which is which. They ask us to transfer money. We transfer money and we are buying the money with our money. The money we deposited in the bank was not given to us. And when you go to the bank, they will ask you to buy it. If you go to POS, you will buy 50000 for 65000 and some of the retired teachers and teachers that they paid are most workers. No way for them to take their salary from the bank. It's not good. And we that are selling here now, we are in the market, we are selling. People are telling us that they are going to do transfer for us. And after the transfer, where are we going to collect our money? People, where we are buying goods from? Like people going to the village market to buy goods. How will they go on transfer? Old women in the market, they don't know how to do transfer. So the cash flow is really affecting... It's affecting everybody. 
both the government workers and the businessmen and women. All right, guys, you've heard from the masses, and they've told us what they want their expected candidate to do. You at home, you're not left out. You can drop your opinion on the comment section. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, XPBTV Africa. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. A big thank you to our sponsor, Skolodia Limited, a real estate investment firm. You too can be a sponsor. All you need to do is contact us via the platforms that is displayed on the screen. Thank you for watching. I am Isabel Omodon.